Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Early arrivers, thank you so much. Thank you for being here early. Hello, welcome. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. This is always my favorite part when everybody you just let the gates open and everybody's like, mm. yeah, there we are. We're at 7881. Uh Loyola, uh Jason is on here, but it's not a panelist. Oh, let me see what I can do on my end. Yeah, if you're... Yate Bananas, Derek. <laughs> there you are. Jason should be panelist now. Thank you. Hello, Yate. Yate. Um, Hello, everybody. What else do you know, Adriana? I know. I'm trying to think of other languages. <laughs> I know Hopi and I know Zuni, but I can't remember what they are for the life of me. Buju, I know Buju. <laughs> <laughs> She's over there trying to like talk us under the table. I'm like, all right, what else do you know? <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> Indian, Indian world over here. Just kidding. <laughs> She's running for something. <laughs> <laughs> Kishé, yeah, that's what it was. Kishé, hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for being here and for getting here early. Uh, we won't take up too much of your time this evening, hopefully, but we're so happy to see all the chat live up, to see the attendees. We're already at 111 people. Wow. All right, keep it up. And just a little heads up for some of you who are not aware, this is a webinar, so you don't have access to your mic or your camera, so we can't see you, we can't hear you, but we can see your chats, so. Please feel free to tag along in the chat, say hello, where you're coming from, what nation you're representing, what school you're attending. And yeah, you're going to be able to see our beautiful faces here. <laughs> and if you do have any questions that come up um, at the bottom of your screen, you should have a Q&A function. Um, go ahead and throw your questions in there. Uh, we will answer them as they come up throughout the evening, or we will corral them at the end uh, of the webinar. So make sure to get to all of them. Uh, if we see them in the chat, we will try to mark them. But just because, you know, things go so quickly in the chat, uh, try using the Q&A function so we can keep track of your questions and uh, make sure that we answer them. We don't want anybody leaving confused from the webinar tonight. <laughs> All right, we are at six o'clock. Uh, let's go ahead and get started, uh, Julio. Yeah, let me share my screen real quick. And then let me know if you're able to see it on your side. So we need to... Perfect, looks great. Yeah, okay. Look at those beautiful people. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, welcome everybody. Hello and good evening. My name is Loyola Rankin. I am one of your college success coaches here at the American Indian College Fund. Yat e she Loyola Rankin yin chia halso and ishle na kai bachishchi torigli dasha che na kai dasha nale. I'm gonna pass it over to Anna Marie to introduce herself. Sikdash and you benjigit Anna Marie Stevens. I am the career readiness and employment program administrator for student services. Welcome today. I am new to the team and I'm excited to see everybody here today um, and meet everybody in person. Thank you. I'll pass it over to Julio. Uh, hello everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Julio Cesar Barron. I'm one of the other uh, college success coaches here. I'm calling from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Uh, nice to see you all here again. Uh, and then I'll pass it on to Adriana. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Always got to give room for the Navajo's long intros. <laughs> but um, hello, everybody. I am uh, one third of the College Success Coaches, other awesome three here, and then Anna Marie as well. Um, yeah, just really awesome to be here. I'm excited to kind of get back into the swing of things and to meet you all. And yeah, tuning in from Gallup, New Mexico. Whoop, whoop, my hometown. So uh, tonight, this is the spring full circle meet and greet. Uh, for those of you that were scholars in the fall, this will sound very familiar. So it'll be more of a refresher for our new scholars joining uh, uh, the full circle scholarship. Uh, the spring full circle meet and greet uh, will adhere to um, 
some of the questions you might have about maintaining your scholarship. And the four of us here are here to help you maintain your scholarship. So any questions or concerns that you might have that will uh, come up, please let us know. We're here to help. Uh, Julio, let's go ahead and go to the next slide, please. All righty. So what you see on your screen is the blob tree. Uh, the blob tree here has different characters. Uh, I think it's one through 21. Uh, and if you want to throw in the chat, what blob are you resonating with right now? What blob in the blob tree are you feeling? Uh, please also take this opportunity to shout out your tribal affiliation, your college, uh, where you're representing. We have SKC in the house. We have some people feeling number 20 at the top of the tree. Thank you so much. You have our eyes up there. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, I got some ones. Where's one? Oh, no. <laughs> a couple of fours. A couple of fours in there as well. We got a 19. Where's 19? Oh, I see you, 19, reaching for your buddy, 14. 14, don't worry. 19's going to catch you with a super speed. We got you right here. <laughs> I uh, got a three in there too. Yep, getting a little help from two, just uplifting other people, just getting started and climbing that tree. Sounds great. We got someone from Port Fort Peck, Estabe. Welcome, welcome. Donna Autumn Nation. All right. Yay. Anna Marie's Nation represented. We got Spirit Lake. Oh, I hear Spirit Lake is beautiful. I it's absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited. I want to get up there so bad. Okay, we got a nine. I see you, Fort Lewis. <laughs> nine for you from the tree. I love it. We got a 10 there standing on the platform. Awesome. Take a little breather. Take a look at the view. Love it. Seven. Holding on tight. Don't worry, Aaron. I'll be your six. <laughs> I'll help you out. Number 17, feeling uplifted. Oh, wow, that is precarious, but I'm glad that you're feeling uplifted. That is awesome to hear. We got Haskell Indian Nations in the house. That's awesome. Looking forward to seeing you at AHEC here in a couple of weeks. All right, wonderful. Oh my gosh, this is so, this is my favorite part, honestly, seeing all y'all representing here in this space with us. I love it so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit about yourself um, here in this webinar. Uh, all righty, so I'm going to turn it back over to Julio to talk us through the agenda. Yes, thank you. Uh, so this right here, just to kind of briefly kind of go through it, just Again, uh, just to let you guys know, uh, if you got in here a little bit late, it's okay. Uh, this event is being recorded, so kind of give us a little bit of time uh, to send it to our communications team um, to get it edited and everything, and you know, nice and clean. And then we're going to put it on YouTube, and we'll. And if you need to go back to this, uh, then you have that access, you know. So, uh, so just kind of keep an eye on your email just in case. Uh, and then just for the welcome and greetings, you know, we already said that already. And then we have a guest speaker, one of our ambassadors for uh, from this current uh, cohort, uh, and that's Jason. And I'll introduce him later on. Uh, setting intentions and then kind of going over, you know, the college success coaches and the uh, career readiness employment. And then we'll go through the, the full circle scholarship a little bit just to kind of expect and, you know, what you need to do, you know, throughout the semester. Uh, specific dates and times that are coming up too. Um, and then also the importance of the fall survey and then some of the other important things that kind of go on at the college fund. Uh, and then the developmental grant and that will be talked about later on. And then we're gonna close it out with, with a Q and A and a breathing exercise. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, we're gonna give more reminders throughout the whole presentation. So now I wanna introduce uh, Jason, our ambassador. Jason, uh, you can unmute yourself. Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, Jason Rosette here. I uh, represent the Chippewa Cree Nation here in uh, Rocky Boy, Montana. And I'll be a graduate of Stone Child uh, College here this fall. And I just recently uh, finished up all my credits for uh, edu uh, elementary education. Uh, 
that's uh, good for kindergarten through eighth grade uh, teacher certification. So I already got a job down here at Box Elder School. And um, I work there. I have an alternative classroom. So things are going good there. So, yeah, the full circle scholarship is great, not only for the money they help you out with, but a lot of advice. And like you guys have all the uh, training and uh, requirements that you got to meet as a full circle scholar. So I really, uh, really shout out to you guys and really, uh, really hold you guys up there for helping uh, make my dreams come true. And you guys are just awesome with that. And so I've been I've uh, been on that program for a couple of years now. My last one was uh, this fall. But yeah, Full Circle Scholarship is amazing. And so um, anybody that could get on it, you know, congratulations for being on it, all you folks here. And uh, just wanted to let you know, as an ambassador, too, has been great representing uh, the American Indian College Fund and some of those surveys and stuff, uh, we've had some uh, feedback and in input, and it's just been great. So got to give a shout out to uh, Stone Child College here, where I'll be graduating in May. And just the advice I have for you guys is just keep going with the struggle. Um, you know, we have to combat that. And, you know, a lot's been done to our people. So we're, we're out here breaking generational curses. And uh, that's through education. You know, education is the key to battling these uh, res monsters that have just been killing our people, alcoholism, addiction, addiction, suicide, poverty, uh, just so many of them, diabetes, fentanyl, the list could go on and on, but education is the answer and AICF is the answer. This is how we uh, get back to our community and make it a better place. So that's just the advice I have to you guys. Keep it going, keep the torch lit. Uh, thank you. All right. Thank you, Jason, for those inspirational words and stories. And thank you for sharing all that uh, with our Full Circle Scholar. So we appreciate you for everything you do. Uh, so, yeah, now, now we'll go on to the next slide. Uh, so this one right here, uh, just to kind of go uh, talking about the ambassador. So, of course, you, you guys uh, got to hear a little bit of Jason. So come from Ch uh, Stone Child College. But we also have all these other uh, ambassadors as well, too all representing uh, themselves, you know, their nations, and then there's specific colleges that, that they went to or currently going to at the moment. Um, and then again, uh, right now, the application hasn't opened just yet, but you'll probably, if you're interested in that, I would talk to your direct college success coach directly, uh, but, or we're gonna send those uh, communications to you via email at some point, okay? So if you're interested in that, definitely uh, you know speak to us directly or kind of go on to our college fund website to kind of uh, know a little bit more, more about the ambassador program as a whole. Uh, but yeah, no, just uh, kind of keep an eye on that email, okay? Then we'll go on to the next one. <clears throat> awesome. Thank you, Julia. So like Loyola said, um, a lot of you, this is going to be, this isn't going to be new information for you. A lot of you are returning, which awesome. Welcome back to the Full Circle Scholarship. Then for some of you, you might be a little new. Um, we welcome you with warm embraces and everything and uh, welcome to our little community. But um, we're going to go over just how to, you know, where to find your portal and where to find your specific scholarship components with the full circle program and goal setting. And we're gonna go over like a few upcoming events that are gonna be happening here. So next slide. So again, uh, scholarship components, this is where you were going to um, fill out your application and you just need to go right into your application year. Again, this is for the 2023-2024 academic year to look for your scholarship agreement and to find a general list of your program components. Next slide. All righty, and if you wanna find your college success coach, there's a little module right there that will tell you if it's either one of us four here. Um, and then you'll also find, you can see your program component information in the enrollment section. And for some of you, it might look a little different. Some of you might, you know, be the same thing that you had this last year, but that's where you're generally going to find all of your different information and the coaches are going to follow up with you on the different components that you need to complete and just kind of maintain that conversation. Then you can also check with us too, if we received it on our side, if you completed it, and we can just double check with you on that. 
And yeah, if you wanted to find your scholarship agreement again, you can click into the program components information. And um, I know some of you are asking, you know, for an award letter, you might need it for another scholarship or for any other reason, you can also find it in this portal as well. You can download your agreement or your um, award letter there too. Okay. Uh, so for this one right here, so we're going to kind of go over, uh, you know, specific, you know, scholarship agreement letter examples. Uh, so for this, these are two different scholarships. Uh, so depending on, on what you got, I would definitely, you know, go to the student portal and kind of see what scholarship you have. Uh, but these are just kind of two examples that we have currently. Uh, one side uh, for everybody, you know, these are kind of like the mandatory ones for everybody, uh, no matter what scholarship you have. And then some of these right here, I would pay attention to these details. It's just optional for these other categories down here, but down below. On the other side, um, all this is mandatory, but this also these are mandatory as well, just to advance uh, per academic year. So I would definitely uh, take a look at the agreement form just to kind of visualize or kind of give yourself a refresher. Uh, and then if you still have questions, then uh, uh, talk to your uh, direct college success coach directly. We'll go on to the next one. Uh, and then this one right here, this is just kind of helps us coaches to kind of track uh, what students are actually going to our events. And we always kind of put, you know, we want your full, uh, your first name, last name, email, and then the scholarship application ID. This is what we're talking about right here. So it's, it's on the same portal where you look at the agreement, you know, click on there. And then down below, then you're going to click on open. And then you should be able to see your uh, your scholarship application ID. Um, so definitely check that out and let definitely let us know if uh, you're still kind of having issues and stuff. And that is definitely OK. Uh, we'll kind of help you run through it and stuff like that. But this is how we're going to help be able to track you a little bit easier uh, for this semester. And then we'll go on to the next one. Hi, everybody. Uh, so yes, this is the Full Circle Scholar Survey. So in the fall, you may have remembered uh, you were sent a, a link to complete the Full Circle Scholar Survey in the fall. Uh, that link is sent directly to your email address. Um, we wanted to make sure that you have a unique um, code, I guess you could say, since it's going straight to your email address. Uh, this is not a link that the coaches can regenerate. Uh, because it is unique to you, uh, you will find it inside of your email address that you have listed on your full circle application. Um, we want to encourage you to complete it as soon as possible um, when it comes out in mid-April of 2024. Uh, now, this is a scholarship component for all of our Full Circle Scholars. Uh, this is how we get feedback. This is how we listen to you as individuals and as a collective on what programs, what supports that you would like to see. We basically build our entire um, scholar supports from your survey, and this counts as your voice. So we definitely encourage you to complete it as soon as possible. Now, you'll remember this survey because it is about 40 to 50 questions. It does take an average of 20 minutes to finish. Um, but we encourage you to be thoughtful in your responses because we do look through this information um, very deeply and again, structure and organize our support of you through this survey using other metrics as well, but this is one of the big ones. Um, if you should have any questions, please do reach out to your college success coach. Uh, that is any one of the four of us, and we can assist you in finding out what is going on. Uh, please check your spam folder, your junk folder. Um, you know, if it looks like it came from the college fund, it'll end with at collegefund.org. Uh, so we just want to make sure that you get that information and that it doesn't show as a spam or fraud or anything like that. Um, and we will also be sending you an email from your coaches to let you know when that survey becomes available. Uh, typically, we're given notice um, when the survey goes out. So we'll send you like a quick email just saying, hey, look for the survey in your inboxes. It should arrive, you know, 
at such and such time. Uh, again, this is going to be about mid-April. We're in late February. So if you forget about it, don't worry. We're going to send you a reminder. Um, lastly, we really want to stress this information is how best to serve you as scholars. So please make sure that you complete it um, and that we can process and hear your voice and your needs. Um, and a little bit of information we gathered from the fall survey, uh, we're going to display in the next slide. So Julio, if you could hit me with the next slide, please. Okay, so this is a breakdown of our scholars. Um, these are the full circle scholars as of fall 2023. So the age range of our scholars is 17 years old to 75 years old. So we are a multi-generational scholarship provider. Um, all of you are scholars, you are indigenous scholars, and we are all very proud of you and the work that you've done. Um, you're representing over 45 states and 218 different tribal nations. Uh, there in the top corner, you will see the most represented nations is the Navajo Nation, Turtle Mountain, Ogallala, Cherokee, and Blackfeet. So we definitely want to make sure that we highlight that if you do not see your nation up there, that is okay. We are all beautiful, beautiful Indigenous people. Our top majors include business, psychology, nursing, biology, and environmental sciences. So y'all are giving us a great look at the STEM field, at the business fields. Um, please make sure to take a look at when the next um, gathering of majors is going to occur for your major. Uh, we'll get to that here in a few slides. Um, it's definitely a great opportunity to meet others inside of your field, inside of your industry. Um, that's how you expand your network for sure. Um, sorry, I did see a quick question flash by about the difference between the scholar survey and the event evaluations. That is a great question. So the scholar survey, we specifically call this the survey to help avoid confusion. Uh, the scholar survey is only given once a semester and that is for all of our full circle scholars to complete. And that's the one I said is about 40 to 50 questions. Uh, we comb through this data with a fine tooth comb. Uh, the event evaluations are something separated entirely. So the event evaluations are given after events that we host um, to track attendance, as well as to get some feedback in another group of people. Um, so this is the type of event evaluation is that you will get one at the end of the today's meet and greet, the, the event that's being recorded right now. And when you complete the event evaluation, that's how we track your attendance to say, check, you've done this, you've completed this requirement. Um, and I hope that clears up a few things. Uh, we try to keep the event evaluation short. So no more than like four or five questions. You can get that done in less than a minute. Uh, the scholar survey, that one, like I said, takes about 20 minutes to 30 minutes to complete. Um, and that's only offered once a semester. Uh, so that's the distinguishing factor between the two separate forms of data collection that we have. And so I just want to make sure that's clear for everybody. Uh, okay, next slide, Julio, please. All righty. So this slide here, um, we really want to stress and emphasize here that there is no one type of full circle scholar. Y'all are heck diverse. <laughs> I was going to say hella, but I, I don't know. I thought that would age me. <laughs> so y'all are super diverse. Um, there is no one type of full circle scholar. Y'all are so unique, uh, so beautiful. Um, and we're such a diverse group, even though we do serve Native American, Indigenous peoples here in the U.S., we're still diverse inside of this network of people. Uh, so there are about 1500 scholars in the full circle scholarship this academic year. Um, and there really isn't one model student that we can point to and be like, that's them. That's the model of this typical student because that doesn't exist. We're so diverse inside of this space. Uh, this slide here is how we learn about what is important to you as a scholar. Uh, so you may remember this question of what is success? 
And we have found that with our scholars, it's such a multifaceted uh, experience of what is successful. Um, so we've been able to use the data that you've entered and came up with three separate areas. One of tangible outcomes. I want a degree. I want to get a job. I want to be secure in my um you know, in industry. Uh, the other one is a feeling. I want to feel good. I want to feel accomplished. I want to feel proud of myself. I want others to feel proud of me. Um, and then the last one that's really huge with our population, y'all, um, is action. How are you going to use this to contribute to your community, to contribute to your family? Um, and that honestly really sets um, the full circle scholars apart from a lot of other scholarships based on um, identity. So, you know, we base ours on being Indigenous Native American people. If you look across the board at other scholarships, you know, other mass, uh, other factors of success look different. Um, and so we have a few quotes here um, from our scholars of what success looks like. And this success could feel anywhere from like a project or a paper. Um, I just want to do this one thing. And then something a lot grander of getting a great job and providing for my family. Um, and that looks different to all of you. What is providing for your family look like? Does that mean you have gas in the car? Does that mean that you own a private jet? Both are possible, <laughs> just depending on what you would like to do in providing for your family. Uh, and then, of course, down there on the bottom is that feeling again of being happy with your choices and knowing and feeling proud of yourself. And you should feel proud of yourself, honestly. Like this is such a difficult journey in academia as a scholar um, seeking that knowledge. And we really use this information to stress um, why we stress the survey. <laughs> so definitely when you're thinking of doing the survey in mid-April, think of this. This is how we pull that information to really showcase um, what is important to you and how we can support you in those endeavors. Uh, next slide, and I will pass it back to Julio. Yes, thank you, Loyola. Uh, and then, you know, since we're kind of talking about the full circle uh, scholar survey, we actually do really look into it. You know, we visualize, uh, we um, analyze it, you know, we go in depth into it and we talk, uh, talk to each other as a group, the coaching team and other leaders to kind of go well, what do the scholars want? Well, what can we improve on? What we could do better? So these are uh, some of the pillars that we came up with just from uh, your guys' voices from the past survey. Uh, so like centering self, establishing your future, uplifting uh, emotional support and encouragement and personal agency. Like all these are very important uh, pillars and factors, you know, to kind of contribute to your guys, uh, you know, educational, career, and personal goals in life. So we're here as a resource, but, uh, you know, we're always here to answer any of your questions or concerns, you know, but we always want to improve better, you know, for our programming later on in the next semester and then the next year, and then for the future as well, too. So, uh, yeah, no, that's just a little bit about our pillars. So we'll, I'll go on to the next slide. Is this me? Sorry, that was me. <laughs> uh, so yes, this is the scholarship program components. Uh, these are components that all of our scholars, full circle scholars um, could complete as part of their scholarship components. Um, the first one you are doing right now, congratulations. It's attend the spring 2024 full circle meet and greet. Uh, next is complete the spring 2024 full circle scholar survey, April. Again, that's gonna be in mid April. Um, create a connect profile. If you've already done this, you've already checked it off. So definitely not a problem. Um, and then lastly, there we have the future planning form. Uh, this one, Anna Marie is going to be speaking on a little later in a few slides here. Uh, so really it's these four 
uh, components um, to help maintain your scholarship. Uh, but again, we do ask that you look at that scholarship agreement letter uh, to see if there's any additional program components you may have. Um, and those additional program components um, are outlined in the scholarship agreement letter. Um, we want to make sure that you're looking at them, that you're aware that your scholarship might have additional components, might have something very specific. Uh, for example, there is a scholarship that we have that does require volunteer hours. Um, and that's not for all of our scholar scholars, that's just very specifically for them. Um, so keep, keep a lookout. Um, if you just need those four done, congratulations. It's very straightforward uh, to help maintain your scholarship eligibility. Uh, go ahead and have the next slide, please. Now it's Anna Marie's turn. Sorry, Anna Marie. <laughs> oh, no problem. So Leola touched on creating the connect. And it's important because every student gets a letter that has this information and it may be a requirement for your scholarship. But this is a place for you to get connected to various opportunities to network with individuals, to learn more about internship opportunities and jobs. And our goal is to try to give students the opportunity to give an insight into your career and thinking about your professional life and where you're going to go from here. And also discover different jobs that may be available for you or different fellowship opportunities. But you can find that on um, the link right there. Um, I think it's really important for you to start exploring just to give you an opportunity to give you that, um, to stand out above the rest when you are moving forward in the professional field. Next slide. Also, they also touched upon the future planning form. So the future planning, planning form is grounded in six indigenous um, relative base values. And these are the six R's. We wanna make sure that we are looking at everybody's um, response, giving them some feedback, but the six R's are respect, responsibility, um, response, oh, God, I can't even talk, relationship, reflection, um, reciprocity and distribution, sorry. And this is gonna be due on May 24, um, May in 2024. The date hasn't been determined, but we will be sending that information out. Um, like Julio had mentioned, we do spend a lot of time analyzing people's feedback, looking at what students' needs are um, and figuring out how we can become better. Go ahead. Okay, so I am part of the career and readiness employment team. Our huge thing is to make sure that students have an opportunity to explore and giving the opportunity for them to look at internships and job position, um, jobs that are available. Um, if you go to the American Indian College Fund website, you can find this under for students and go under career readiness and employment. And there right there is the access code to get in there. Um, this is just really helpful. We are intentionally trying to push this. Our goal for career readiness is to make sure that we are providing opportunities for students to explore and learn and giving students opportunity to gain the knowledge before they go into the professional field. Okay, next slide. Okay, um, so we recently sent out uh, career readiness employment. We sent out um, the student professional development grant. It was due February 21st. However, this is a rolling application. Um, this is an opportunity for students who are interested in doing a project to help their professional um, professional life, get them prepared. I know I've been getting a lot of questions. We've had a lot of students who have applied and there are, I did want to announce that we still are um, accepting application and it's an award for 2,500 for students to gain the experience of doing a project in their community. And you have to create a budget. You can, it can go to your salary. It can go to supplies that you need. But I also want you to keep in mind that it's really important for you to think about how is this going to help you for professionally and to get a job or help you prepare for something that you're working on. Um, and this is just an opportunity. I think this is one of the 
one of the things that I learned that's really great about American Indian College Fund coming in was that these are oppor extra opportunities that are given to students and scholars for them to grow. And that's, uh, like I said, it is a rolling application. So it's still open if you guys want to send a, an application. Okay. Awesome, awesome. And yeah, we're going to be going right into the important dates. So this is hopefully what everybody's been waiting for, part of it. <laughs> but I'm seeing the different events that we're going to be hosting for the next three months. So next slide. And for a majority of these, actually, I think all of these events, these are going to be prompted with an event evaluation. So that's the event evaluation that you're going to fill out afterwards to send in, you know, if you need to attend an event or just to be accounted for attendance, that's what you'll send that in for. So February, we already had some events. Some of you were aware of them. Some of you weren't. No worries. We're going to have a whole lot more. This is not the last of this. But um, the first one I want to point out is the Mental Wellness Talking Circle that is coming back for the spring 2024 season. Um, we're going to be having, I believe, seven or eight sessions. I can't remember off the top of my head. But Jacqueline is here with us, and she's going to be rocking it out with the Mental Wellness Talking Circles. I know that's very well received with this group and we're so excited to welcome you back to that. Um, and then another one is Male Scholars Initiatives. This is for all of our male scholars to attend and to just kind of create community with each other. I don't know, Julio, if you wanna touch on that a little bit, just to talk about it a little bit more. It's being led by Julio. <laughs> Yes, uh, and yes, uh, so some of, uh, some of you probably got emails about this. So uh, the reason for the uh, for this initiative is to kind of be able to help out our male scholars, uh, you know, with specific topics. So I think uh, for this first topic, we were going over uh, stress stress management stress management and pinpointing of like emotions, like even talking about it. And of course, I know it does say like male scholars on it, but everyone is invited. Uh, it's just more kind of closer to like male, but like, of course, you, you could learn a lot of different things from that. So definitely you're invited. We have three more and this one is going to be every two weeks, uh, but we'll update, um, you know, it's going to be in the, in the next couple of slides of when the next couple of ones are coming up. Um, and then those topics are going to be specific themes. Uh, and it's from Jonathan Yellowhair. Uh, he's one of our consultants. Uh, he's also a therapist as well from Arizona. Um, so just being able to advocate, you know, for those specific scholars as a whole. So that's just a little bit. But if anyone has questions, uh, definitely reach out to me uh, or to your coach directly. Awesome, awesome. And then our next one is, of course, our meeting group that is happening right now that you're currently attending. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> um, again, we're going to be we, we are recording this event and we're going to be sending the video link and the event survey event evaluation to everybody. So if you need to hop out early, that's totally fine. And you want to watch the rest of the video. If you didn't get a chance to do the event evaluation, you'll have that information. The coaches will send it out to you. Um, and then uh, I will lead the first year experience program. So this is open for any students who are in their first year of college. And this is just kind of a place where we create community and we invite different speakers to come and just to kind of share your experiences and learnings and everything of what's happening in your first year. So we'll be starting that on the 28th. And then um, we briefly mentioned the gathering of majors. So we have a gathering of majors event for um, all the different areas. So we have one for education, tribal related business, uh, health, um, STEM, and we'll see the other ones too. That's like the ones I can talk on the top of my head. But um, our first two are going to be happening this Thursday um, for education and tribal related. So we'll send out the registration information for that soon. Alrighty, and then for March, we got a whole lot of things happening. So we have another gathering of majors. This is going to be for uh, business on Wednesday, and then our next talking circle. And then on Thursday, the 7th is going to be the gathering majors for STEM. So again, that's all science, technology, engineer, and math majors invited. And the second part of the male scholars initiative is going to be happening that same evening as well. Uh, another first year programming is going to happen during that time. Another mental wellness talking circle on the 20th. Another uh, male scholars initiatives on the 30 and uh, 21st, excuse me, and then the scholar drop in. So uh, some of you might have seen this in the past. We've kind of played around with the name here a little bit, but essentially it's an office hours, a virtual office hours to meet with the individual coaches. So mine is going to be happening on the 27th. This isn't just for my scholars who are assigned to me as a coach. Um, but if any of you want to come and join, um, you know, just to meet me or if you want to ask me a question and I can hopefully ask 
for um answer for you, you're more than welcome to come in and um just kind of say hi. You know, this will happen on the 27th from 4:30 to 5:30. And another really big event that I know some of you have already mentioned is AHEC. So how many of y'all in the chat are gonna be going to AHEC? You can just put me or raise your hand or whatever. Um, we're gonna be there. So um, if you are familiar, the American Indian College Fund does do a student awards banquet honoring our uh, student of the year recipients, Coca-Cola recipients, and also our uh, tribal college president of the year. So some of you might've already gone to reach out from some of us who, you know, you already, you know, you. You were awarded a student of the year or you're a Coca-Cola scholar. Congratulations. You know, that's a really big accomplishment. We're inviting you, if you're going to be at the AHEC celebration, to come out and receive your award. We're going to have dinner. We're going to have a really awesome photo booth that you can come and take pictures with. All unlimited, all free. It's all for your enjoyment. So definitely on the 10th uh, of the 20, on the March 10th Sunday, definitely come out and join us right before we get to hand games too. We're going to have some noisemakers too. So if you want to get some noisemakers before you head to the hand games, come and see us so we can take some off of our table. Um, some other events that are going to be happening as well, we're going to be having time management workshops, TCU site visits. So Loyola is going to be heading up to Turtle Mountain in March. And then Julio is going to be heading up to Cinti Glushka University in March as well. Uh, graduate prep sessions, that's going to be led by Loyola. Uh, transfer support webinars, as well as text message campaigns. We're going to be texting y'all, which we'll talk to you a little bit more about and show you the number. And um, we're going to ask you some questions, you know, not like a quiz or anything, but just to get you involved and just check up on you every now and then. So next. All righty, slowly go. <laughs> so here's the April events. Um, again, a whole nother jam pack, a lot of first years happening. Uh, mental wellness talk, talk well, mental wellness talking circle fourth and fifth. I'm ready to check out for the day, guys. I don't know about you. I'm just kidding. Um, some more male scholars initiatives, and then Loyola is going to be having her scholar drop in on Sunday, April seventh. And again, open for anybody to come. It doesn't have to be just Loyola scholars. It's just some optional office hours if you want to go and ask questions or get some checkups or, or um, check up on your scholars or anything. Um, some gathering of majors are going to happen on the 11th for liberal arts and health majors. And the thing with these gathering of majors as well, it's not only exclusive for those who are in those majors. If you're thinking about maybe changing your major or going into a different career path, or maybe you're still undecided right now and you're kind of thinking of maybe I'll go into this one, maybe I'll go into that one, you're more than welcome to attend any one of these. Um, just reach out to your coach and we'll, we'll be the one sending you out the registration links and everything. Um, and yeah, and then uh, another catch us on the road will be going to United Tribe Technical College, that'll be Loyola, and then I'll be representing the College Fund along with some other staff during the Montana Tribal College Fairs week for week one. So I can't remember off the top of my head which ones those are, but we're going to be attending three different colleges and we'll be seeing you there. I should have put that on there, my apologies. And then College of Muskogee Nation, sorry, I forgot to put Julio on there, but Julio is going to be <laughs> going to that one. More graduate prep and more career and job webinars are going to be happening as well. Alrighty, and then not too much is going to be happening in May, as we know, you're going to be busy with finals, exams, and all that different jazz. So all we have for you here is a mental wellness talking circle, and then Julio's scholar drop in, and then I'll be having my end of year celebration for my first year scholars. And then another really big event that's going to be happening at the end of May is the Summer of Success Conference. The theme this year is Cultivating Connections into Success. It'll be a three-day virtual conference that Again, anybody and everybody is attend uh, welcome to attend. You don't have to be a full circle scholar. You can invite any of your, you know, cousins, friends, siblings, whoever um, who might be in high school thinking about going into college, or maybe you know they're kind of uns unsure about that. Any family and friends who you know might be interested or want to get information for anybody, um, high school staff, college staff, any officials, admin, anybody is welcome to go to this free conference. And yeah, it's going to be virtual. We'll be sending out more information on that again soon with registration if you're interested in attending. So thank you. And that's all for me. Okay, this is me. So career um, and employment events that we're hosting, this is the first time we're doing this. Uh, we are going to be hosting a series of workshops um, for March. March 1st is going to be, which is this is Friday. If you are a scholar, we did send this information to you. Um, 
in your award letters explaining that it's going to be a requirement and why we were doing this is we want to provide opportunities for students to learn about different career paths. So this coming Friday is a potter's journey. It's a woman's um, st um, story about her becoming a potter and how it's helped her um, with her business and teaching people and um, getting different various opportunities to become um, a master potter um, and just her journey and then the next one is on going to be on the 19th. It's an environmental stewardship panel. I know we're going to at least have at least three um, panelists from various universities and professionals working in environmental. And that's going to be held on the 19th at 12 p.m. All this information will be going out via Zoom. And I highly encourage you to attend, even though if you're not one of the recipients under our program, I, it, I, it's a good um, information just to hear about various backgrounds. That's it. All right, swing that right back over to me. So um, here are just a few final things to remember for the scholarship components and just for communication efforts and everything. So all scholarship program components are gonna be due on Friday the 24th at 11 p.m. Mountain Time, Denver. So also keep in mind the timing in our events and everything um, with the map here. Um, just the different time zones that you may be in. All of our events are going to be hosted in Denver time. So we are here in the mountain mountain time zone. And again, we're going to be going through a uh, time change again with daylight savings time. It's daylight savings time, right? Or we're ending daylight savings time. Spring break. I don't know. <laughs> time is going to be changing. I don't know. Um, but anyways, so uh, just keep in mind that every uh, one of our events is going to be happening in Denver time. Um, also, again, pl please complete the event evaluations for attendance tracking. Um, that's the biggest part for us to help us out um, and just to make sure that we're not missing anybody who are attending our events. Again, really short. There are no more than five, six questions, and we really do value the feedback as well in all of our events and programming that we do. Um, we look at all of them and make some changes here and there, and we just you know really value the feedback. Also, email. Email is the biggest way, the most common way for us, the coaches, to communicate with you, um, other than the texting platform or other than phone calls. Please always check your email. Um, that's going to be the primary source that we're going to be communicating with you. Sometimes our emails will uh, kind of jump back into your spam or your junk. Um, just please make sure you're double checking in there. And then uh, another really cool tip is to create the email rule with all emails from at collegefund.org. That's for all of us who work at the College Fund, it's all going to end with at collegefund.org to keep you up to date on not only our events, but also other events that um, the College Fund might be hosting as well. So definitely, definitely check your emails. We can't stress that enough. Um, if you, for any reason, need to change your email or prefer another email for us to communicate with you, definitely let us know. Please reach out to your uh, college success coach, or you can email the scholarships team directly, scholarships at collegefund.org. And text messages. Some of you uh, have, you know, received text messages from us in the past. Some of you might have gotten a reminder for this event that was happening. Um, but this is the number that we're going to be contacting you with. So it's not spam. We're not trying to get your credit card information or social security numbers or anything, unless you want to give it to us. I mean, I'm just kidding. No. Um, but yeah, this is what we're going to be. Um, also, another form of communication with you. This is, you know, where we're going to give you reminders. We're also sending out happy birthday text messages again at the beginning of the month. Um, some really cool motivational quotes. And then again, we're going to be doing some text messages campaigns where we're going to be sending you out to some, you know, general information or general questions like what's your favorite, how do you like your fried bread or how do you like your um, bannock, you know, do you like salt or sweet? sweet? Um, so, and then like, you know, we'll get so many uh, answers for that and we might do some giveaways too through text messages. So definitely keep an eye on that. Um, stay back with the contact. Um, if you want to opt out, that's fine. We won't be hurt by that or anything, but definitely try to um, use, we definitely try to use that as another form of communication because we know, you know, emails, it's a lot to read, uh, but they're really important. But text messages are also another way for us, but it's just a short form of contact. And then follow us on social media. Uh, we have all the different platforms here, um, Twitter or X, what some people are saying, but I see it as Twitter still. Facebook, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, follow, on, follow us on all those at Native Pathways. At Native Pathways is with the college fund that's specifically on the student direct side. Um, the other one that you might see is the college fund. I can't remember the exact handle, but it's called Insta College Fund, I think. That one is more 
public facing, more like donor facing to kind of help get more donations for the scholarship and everything. But if you want more student aid, student direct support and everything, um, follow us on Native Pathways. All right, thank you. So yeah, I know we're, we're almost there to the end. So just a couple more slides, but the closing time. So if anyone has any questions, definitely use that the Q&A uh, function on your, your phone, laptop, or whatever you're using to see this video. So we'll be able to answer those questions right now at this moment, if there's anything. Maybe go to the next slide, Julio, so they can see our uh, yeah and, and then, information there. <laughs> yeah, and I was going to drop this for a little bit. <laughs> uh, so this is our contact information, our email. So uh, again, you know, save our email. It's a safe, we're safe. You know, we're not just spamming you or anything. We're sending you reminders, good resources and everything. But yeah, no, just kind of keep this information close to you if you ever have any questions about anything. And then we'll let the, the questions kind of go through right now. We'll, we're answering them uh, one by one. Okay, I think go to the next slide, Julio. I think some people are waiting for the event evaluation. Gotcha. Oh, we got breathing first, guys. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just skip over my part, Adrian. We don't want to breathe. Next one. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done breathing. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your favorite part, the breathing exercise. All right, let's get a little loosey-goosey uh, in the shoulders, please. Do a little of these things, little chicken dance. All right, get those shoulders out. That was a lot of information. I'm sure that sounded very stressful. Um, and there was a lot going on here. Uh, but we want to take a time to decompress a little bit before we send you off into the world again. Um, and if you could please hold up your right hand and follow along um, with the pattern on the screen there. So as you trace your finger using your other hand, when you go up a finger, breathe in, and then breathe out when you go down the other side of said finger. And I want you to take some time and focus on your hand, focus on all the things this digit does for you. Um, sometimes we forget about it. Sometimes, uh, we take it for granted. Um, all the things you feel and touch, um, since a child is through this hand. All right. So with the other hand, go ahead and start tracing, go up, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Last one, breathe in and breathe out. All right, thank you very much. Okay, so on to the event evaluation. <laughs> Here we go, the event evaluation. So there's a link right there and a QR code. And then Loyola, thank you. Uh, and she dropped it on the chat uh, for now. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is all we got for today. So I appreciate you all for being here, uh, here uh, sharing a little bit about, uh, about everything, you know, and hopefully you guys kind of learned a little bit more or just kind of refresh as a whole. Uh, but yeah, no, thank you. And we'll continue thank you, everybody. to answer the questions. Yeah, thank you. Have a good night. If you have to, that's cool. <laughs>